it's Andrew Greif of the Oregonian alongside Tyson Alger of the Oregonian. We cover the Oregon Ducks, and the number seven Ducks are about to head into East Lansing to play number five Michigan State in about four days. Today, Mark Helfrich met with the media along with numerous players, and uh, basically the thing I got from out of it was that players don't really care that this is a big game. They don't really look at Michigan State. It's kind of the old hearkening back to the faceless opponent thing you always heard about several years ago. Byron Marshall, the wide receiver, said we could play the Seahawks this week and it wouldn't really matter. We'd still go play a game. Uh, Mark Helfrich also talked about why they kind of play this type of game, why it's uh, important for yeah. them. What did he say about that? He, I mean, the, the main point he tried to make is it's great for college football. Uh, after a lot of really easy games that teams play the first week, uh, to have a number seven versus number five with college football playoff implications in week two, it's, it's awesome. The, the players love it. The coaches love it. Fans love it. But, I mean, he did say it, it is important for their rankings later on. I mean, they, they don't like losing these games. They lost at LSU. Uh, boy, what year was that? Oh, well, it was 20, a, a few, 2011. Yeah, a few, few years back. Uh, they don't like losing those games, but they can learn a lot from them. And if they win one like they did last year, that goes a long way towards their body of work, which is the term that the committee used all the time last year. I will give one caveat to your... Uh, players consider this a faceless opponent. I talked to some of the middle linebackers today, and they were stoked they're playing Michigan State. After playing a team like Eastern Washington that throws it nearly every down, they're looking for a classic kind of power-on-power -power running game right up the middle to the middle linebackers. Rodney Hardrick said he is pumped for this game. Yeah, and that would be a nice break for the secondary potentially because they got uh, beat up a lot, not only on the cornerbacks, of course, that a lot of that goes on, defensive line missing gaps, and middle linebackers have their own assignments. But there's a chance with Michigan State's pretty healthy running game, you'll see a lot more kind of up the middle or run it, run, attacking runs against Oregon's defense. The Ducks are going to be back tomorrow. We're going to talk with Don Pellin, the defensive coordinator. He'll have a lot to talk about, I'm sure. And we'll go from there into East Lansing.